fold in for our American viewers why Greece matters, not so much peripheral or contagion, but just the unknown knowns that, that are out there right now. Well, uh, it doesn't matter for the U.S. economy one iota. Uh, what it matters is really uh, for the markets because it affects sentiment, and markets uh, just uh, do not like uncertainty. So uh, that's. You want to clear it out and move on. Well, you know, at, at the margin, it's just basically an annoyance uh, from my perspective. It's okay. a. Uh, I'm, I'm not overly worried about it because. Uh, the really big deal would have been financial contagion, but here's the reality. Banks do not own Greek debt, okay? That was the case three years ago yeah. when spreads in Portugal, Spain, Italy were right. blowing out. They have been blowing out this year, right? And right now you've got some angst, you've got some uncertainty going on, but it's not a financial contagion. I've got a problem with you. You go to dinner and make news away from me. I can't tell what you're saying at dinner. You had a dinner in New York uh, the other night, and like five people said to me, Rosenberg said, and the thing is, you're saying optimism. No one believes you on that. There's a huge doubt about Rosenberg's shift from caution to optimism on American economic growth. What caused that shift? Well, that shift took place, uh, let me see, three years ago. So um, it's, not, it's not new news. Fair. I, I, okay? I and, and, and I laid out the marker here. Uh, you know, everybody's concerned about you know, the first Fed rate hike, when it's going to come, the impact it's going to have on the economy. We had the mother of all fiscal tightening back in 2013, uh, broad-based tax hikes, right, across dividends, capital gains, income. And that's gone. And then, well, I'm not saying it's, well, it's actually a gift that keeps on giving for Uncle Sam because you have a 4% nominal growth generating 14% revenue growth for the federal government. It's rather incredible what that revenue yield accomplished with those tax yeah, hikes. I noticed April but it 15th. Took, but it took, but also the sequestering. When you take a look at 2013 as a microcosm, if people are concerned mm -hmm. about the Fed in some 1937, 30 repeat. Well, 1937-38 wasn't just a monetary shock, it was also a fiscal shock. We had, we had a fiscal shock mm -hmm. in 2013 that oh, has only happened three times in post-World War II experience in the United States. All the other three times, guess what? The U.S. fell in a recession. But, and it, did, it, didn't, it, it didn't happen this time, which told me that there was some firm underbelly to the economy. Now, I'm not saying, obviously, we're not growing very fast, but we are growing You want to put a 3% handle on this for Brendan Greeley? I think that when I take a look, for example, well, firstly, <clears throat> firstly, uh, second quarter GDP looks like it's going to be in the high twos, okay? And that's no... That's uh, somebody, way away from some somebody, somebody, right somebody now. well, take, uh, look, we just had the durable goods numbers, the core capex was solid, and then there were upward revisions. The housing numbers are picking up steam, uh, <clears> and um, no doubt manufacturing is still somewhat of a drag. I'd say that, look, last year we came off the negative first quarter. We had a four-handle on second quarter growth. We're not getting a four-handle on second quarter growth this time. It's going to be, I think, in the high twos. I, when I take a look at the conference board's leading economic indicator and uh, how it's been, the, the pattern over the course of the past several months, not just the headline, but also the diffusion index, is mm -hmm. behaving in a way that I think we're going to see at least 3% and maybe a four-handle in Q3, Q4. This is huge. You, this is amazing. But this whole school of thought that, 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 that no progress is good progress in D.C. is fascinating. You know, we would not have thought this three years ago. I was in D.C. at the time covering fits and starts and terrible mismanagement of fiscal policy. And it turns out, if what you're saying is true, that the fact that nothing has happened since then in the last three years is a good thing. Well, I, I'm actually not saying it's a good thing because when people are, are, are wondering, wow, how come with all this monetary stimulus, 0% uh, rates and a bloated Fed balance sheet, notwithstanding the fact that QE ended last October, fiscal policy in the United States is inordinately tight. If you're wondering, yeah. actually, right now, what's holding back the U.S. economy, it's actually, don't no, sorry, it's not housing, and it's not even consumer spending, as everybody was wondering where the gasoline proceeds were being spent. Right. Go, go talk to the people at Disney where those proceeds were being spent. Uh, exports, we know, are, are pretty soft. But so right do you now, agree with Krugman that no, well, well, that's, I do actually agree. Well, here's what I'll say. Uh, you're wondering where the big restraint is on the U.S. economy. You have a situation where Uncle Sam is drawing in 14% revenue growth, tax receipts from the private sector. Do you agree? And they're putting back, they're putting back you... barely more than 2% in program spending. Okay, it's 14 uh, versus economy. 2. David Rosenberg, do you agree with Professor Krugman of Princeton that we got to give oomph to this economy out of Washington? I, I think that we need, I, I do think yeah. that fiscal stimulus would be very good. I, I think that they should actually roll back those tax hikes they brought in, or at least partially roll them back. Uh, that was incredible fiscal drag. I think it's unnecessary. People thought back then that, you know, the U.S. dollar was going to zero. We are getting downgraded by uh, standard of course. Have you spoken to any yeah. Republican candidates on this?
Uh, no, I haven't. I mean, this is there's I'm, 42 I'm, to choose I'm from. I, I, well, <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, I, I, what I'm saying is that we've gone from a 10 percent deficit GDP ratio yeah. down to two and a half percent. Yes. Okay? And I'm saying fiscal policy right now. Uh, is acting as a drag on private sector activity. Okay. And it's the, it's the tax hikes and not the lack of spending that for you is the bigger drag. I, I would say that uh, I would say that I, I'd say that tax bite was significant and it's a gift that keeps on giving it, giving. Look, if Uncle if, if the US government if Uncle Sam was a stock, you'd want to buy it. I mean, that's a massive margin increase. So you're yeah. squeezing out 14% revenue growth out of 4% nominal GDP yeah. is absolutely incredible. That's what you call the revenue yield, and it is in a bull market. Yeah, but also when we talk about spending, we have to look at the state level as well. The state's really cut back, and they have not come anywhere close to where they were uh, pre-2007. You know, you know I'll, I'll say this much. Um, I was actually in the double dip camp, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, I thought we were extremely vulnerable, um, but you have to remain disciplined, and you always have to challenge your, uh, your your macro view. You don't look out for corroborating evidence. You look out for evidence that's challenging to your view. Okay. And admittedly, I was, I was I was cautious. But when you take a look at the shocks that we've had ever since the financial crisis, the fact that the U.S. economy is even growing. Is we'll come back, David.